In this session, we're going to discuss how to relink access databases. And I suppose the first thing we should do before we discuss that is discuss why you would want to relink an access database. Access has a feature, a wizard, to allow you to split a database into two components, a front end and a back end. And you normally would do that in order to achieve a multi-user or client-server access approach with your application. Uh, the front end would contain your forms, your reports, etc., and that would reside on the client computer. The back end would contain your tables externally at this point and would reside on normally a server for shared access. Now you also could, you know, achieve have a portability aspect where you move them over to a flash drive, etc. Uh, and you could do that without splitting the database. But let's assume for the moment that the database was split because you were trying to develop a multi-user application. Uh, once you rename the folder that the backend data is in, or you uh, move the front end and back end or just the back end to a different folder, you break the link between the front end and the back end. Now the link is pretty easy to establish and it's also pretty easy to reestablish but you have to understand what's needed when you get the error message. So we're going to go to a database right now that I have set up. Actually put it on a flash drive so that it would change. Now you notice that you have a front end component here and a back end component because I have split the database and the back end is marked underscore BE by default by access when the wizard executes. Now I have, an, uh, I have a macro running on this application and so I'm going to bypass that macro or it would give me an error message on launch and I don't care about seeing the forms and whatever trying to launch so we're just going to link we're going to uh, launch around the macro and now I'm going to try notice you have external tables they're indicated by the little arrow those are the back end database tables now uh, that were created when you ran the wizard and split the database so I'm going to try to open one of them and notice I get an error message. It says it's not a valid path. It doesn't know what to do because I moved this from the original location. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go to Database Tools and we're going to reestablish the link. Let's go to Linked Table Manager. I'm going to select both of these tables, but the paths are wrong. So I'm going to click Always Prompt for New Location. Now when I do that and click OK, it's going to ask me where the location is. So at that point, I'm going to pick my flash drive and go in here and find the backend database. Now you'll notice right now there is a third file here with an L as a prefix to the suffix. Uh, that is actually an index file. And once you open the backend, if you were looking at this folder, you would also see one for the backend. Just ignore those. Uh, it, that, that goes away when you close the file. But we're going to click on the backend database for the location and click open. And notice it says the link tables were successfully refreshed. I close this and now I can open that table just fine. Okay. And that's all there is to it. Um, would invite you to take a look at my website, lkjcpa.com, to learn more about me and the webinars and self-study courses that I have for CPAs. Um, also, I have a brand new site that I'm launching. It's still in its, its infancy, so there's a lot of work to do. But uh, the site is icpacpe.com. Uh, I now have the ability, I am a NASBA sponsor for webinars, and I have the ability to host my own webinars. Um, and I will also be hosting through uh, uh, or presenting through other publishers as well. But I have the ability to host my own webinars. Uh, through icpacpe.com uh, and so if you're a CPA looking for CPE please check out both of these sites the latter of the two will be uh, developing over time and invite you to check it often and watch it grow thank you very much have a good day